All right, guys, we're going to do a very deluxe, deluxe version of a butterfly. Okay, so we're going to take, sorry guys, for those of you who follow me, and I do a lot of things with 260s, I have, I just, I just need to do something deluxe, a little bit more awesome, something cool. So we're doing, actually, 646. two 360s or 350s, one yellow 350. Okay. Um, you're going to love this. Okay. When we're done, we're going to take, cause this is the body. So we're going to do a very big deluxe version, something that I do, um, slower. <clears throat> Um, you know, when you have time, it actually isn't, 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 uh, uh, it, it, you, you get it down. It, it can be the, not line work, restaurant work. We're going to have to say restaurant work for this one. Okay. <clears throat> hey Buddha. Okay. So, um, I hope we're going to be able to do this for the ways that I do things. I know. You can't do it right. No. Don't put it in your mouth. Thank you. So we got about a seven end tail on there. We're put a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just set this aside for a minute. I, I need that one, bud. Okay. You can hold on to that one, but if I need it, I need it back. He's taking my spares, just in case something happens while I'm videoing this. We're, oh, this we don't even need yet. We're going to do the wings. Okay, so let's go ahead and blow these up uh, pretty much all the way. All right. Life Samara. I went mm, not all the way, all the way. We want a little tip on the X. We're going to tie this baby together. Okay. Oh, I hope I didn't. I might have done this one up too much. But, uh, we're going to make a loop. Okay. Alright, we got this one. I tell the kids this is what I, you know, dive in the woods. It's my life vest. Alright. And this one, <laughs> we want actually a tip like this, okay? Because we're going to put a, a twist in this because it is the wings, and then we got to do a twist onto the body, okay? Working with big balloons, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. That's why I say restaurant work or party, birthday party. I don't think I could do this line work. Okay? Gotta go this way. Ah. Alright. I'm safe and secure now. So, we need to finish off the head before we um, attach the wings. Okay? I ain't sinking. So, let's go ahead and make the antennas. One of the cutest part of the whole thing. Uh oh. I just realized the second cute part is the artwork, and I don't have. What are you doing? No. Yeah, what are you doing? No. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna split this. You don't have a hole in there. Okay, split it. And then, if you kind of stretch off that end bit, go ahead and... Oh! Okay, maybe it doesn't work very well with 350s. <laughs> I know it worked great on 260s. Okay. There's your antennas. We're going to do a marriage twist and tulip twist thingy, so... 
Yeah, you guys who know your technical words. Marriage tulip. It's a tulip marriage. This is your funnest part of this whole thing. This is why we got a lot of air. We're going to do a lot of squeeze. So we're going to get that down in there. This is this is where I wish I had a little better video type thing for you guys. Because you have to use your body. We'll grab a hold of that. Okay. You probably want to tie that on there. I wrapped it around to make a better ball to grab onto so it doesn't come undone. My problem is, is whenever I do that, see, we've already got. All right. I'm gonna twist that because I don't want it to not have even antennas. Okay, Let's see if I can hold it like this. Oh, but I do need it to. You gotta probably, like I said, one of the most funnest things to do with a 646 is to try to do a tulip twist. <laughs> Some of you pros who use 646s all the time is probably saying, Diana, there's something better you can do. Alright, there you go. Just that baby. So, see how much we had over a seven finger tail? It took that much just to get that tulip twist in there. Okay? We got that baby in there. All right. Now we're winging it. <laughs> you guys are like, whatever, lady. Okay. Get your butterfly. And you want to do your beautiful little wing here. You will need a fourth. One, two, three, four, fifth balloon. I am so sorry to attach these babies onto this body. I have it, but I just didn't tell you. Okay, so we want to match. So we make sure that we match this, match this up. Got a good five fingers. Five, six finger. Hey, no, no. Oh, buddy. I need that. Go get it. Go get it. He just threw the wing live for you. Okay. Go get it. Go grab it. Go grab it. Grab it and bring it to mommy. Mommy needs it. Go get it. Please. Thanks. I, I know, but I don't need this color. Can you grab it for me? He's getting it. That's Buddha for you. Come on, Buddha. Grab it for Mama. Grab it for Mama. Thank you. I got it back. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do the rest of the um, butterfly wing, or body. Don't, don't throw it. He wants to throw it because it's a wing. Okay. No. Honey, I need that. Okay, here we go. Now, I've been doing this all day for you guys. You don't know this, how many times I've made a take on this. It's this part that we've been having problems with. Okay? Maybe some of you more experienced butterfly makers can explain to me why I'm always having a problem. Okay, so... Hmm. Go ahead and shape those wings. Go ahead and marriage those wings together. Let's get this guy out of the screen view. Just grab him and twist him. 
<laughs> All right. So now you've got that typical butterfly wing going on, okay? Literally, typical butterfly wing going on. <clears throat> There's never anything typical when I'm doing this. How many outtakes do I need to do on this? Okay. Here's your body with your about two finger and tail left, right? So we're going to twist about halfway. Okay. Hmm. Fit this baby down here. Bring this baby up. You are using your body to help you with this. Okay? There we go. Tie your knot. You actually will loop it around the neck. And then you're going to go up through here. You take that end and you're going to go around here. Okay. This is where I was popping it. I was adjusting it all after I got it together and it popped. I mean, I made, I don't know, already three videos. I feel like today is Mr. Popper. Okay, now depending on... But, so he has a bigger back, which I think is awesome. For the kids, he has a bigger back. But I like, you know, this is his front. Okay. We're going to reshape these wings again. Get it in there. Get up there. And then you've got your butterfly flying. Okay. All right. Now, excuse the background for a second. I gotta do the artwork for you, so hold on, I gotta grab my markers. Alright guys, this is the joy of being with me, huh? Alright, so this is how... <coughs> Excuse me. This is how I'm going to do the artwork. I really hope this can show you. So we're going to do two big eyes and we're doing a U. Okay? So we're going to, in black. So we're going to do a U. I want to center it. A Buddha. No, you're not helping with the artwork. You can hold it though. Okay? So we got the two U's. We've got the two youths. The what? The two youths. The two youths. Oh, the youths. You guys know what movie that's from. Alright. Now, you get some kids that just like the funny stuff, but I put a nice big smile on him. There. See that? Okay. Uh oh. Did you take my lid? The two used to took my lid. I'll set that one over there. Okay. This is my Sharpie. The smaller one is in my purse. Why do you have it in your purse? Okay, don't go there. I have balloons. We're going to need to, we're priming this. Anton loves it. No, you're not going to have it on you, buddy. I'm not putting it on you today. Okay, so. 
Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put some white in with the tea. Maybe. Tea? Not primed tea? enough. Tea? Probably dead, actually. Tea? Tea? Oh, there it's. There it goes. If I can afford more eddings, I would get more eddings. But this is what I I do. So I'm very sparse when I use this large one. The smaller Sharpie white actually works way better. <clears throat> I'm one of the ones that kind of get ahead of myself. We're going to go back to the black and back to the eyes. After I do the U on the eyes, we're going to color in a portion of it. I'll show you another picture. Okay. Depending on if she's a girl, we got some eyelashes. Okay, now we're gonna do the white around the eyes. Give me the marker, bud. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and do the little dots on the eyes. So we're gonna do a big dot and a little dot. Big dot, little dot. Sorry, like I said, this this one's not. It's not loading up. The smaller one loads up better. This one has been very. Very spotty. I'm not happy with the large one, but it's what I've got right now. So, and then we'll go ahead and color the white. See? There we go. Yep. Look out. Don't hit. There we go. Let's redo those dots. <laughs> I could do another joke, but you'd have to know the movie Mamma Mia. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Alright. Yeah, I'm that strange. Yeah, this is the hard part. Mom. Excuse the fact that I ended up getting white on the rest of its body. <laughs> but I think you'll get the idea. Sorry. Artwork's usually a little bit cuter. He wants to play with her. Here you go, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry it's a bit long. Alright. There you go, buddy. The joys of being a two-year-old at a balloon twisting house. You like that? He Dad. likes it. God bless. You guys have a good one.